When you're preparing an image in Seek Builder for presentation either digitally or in print, you may want to rearrange or edit some of the annotations that are displayed on your sequence. And you can do that from directly within any of the graphical views, like the circular map, which is what I'm looking at now. So I'm going to show you a few different ways you can change the appearance of your map very easily. One tip that I want to share is that you can move almost anything within the circular map or the linear map just by selecting the item you want to move and then dragging it to where you want it to be displayed. So for example, I can select this feature here and then drag it in or outside of the ruler. I can select the title of the map and reposition it. If there's an enzyme label that's close to something else making it difficult to read, I can select it and drag it somewhere else. I can even move the ruler if I want to by selecting it and then dragging it out or in. Another way to change the appearance of your map is to edit your feature styles. So for example, if I wanted to change the color of this ampicillin feature, I could just double click on it to select it and then choose features, edit feature style. And that shows me the feature style dialog, which allows me to change virtually anything about the way the feature appears, including the shape, the line color, the fill color. I'm going to change the fill color to purple. And you can see that that change was made, but now the label is a little difficult to read. So if I right click on the feature and select change font, now I can change the font color to white and that will make it easier to see. You can also reposition the labels for individual features. For example, the name of this feature here is too long to be fully displayed within the feature. So what I can do is first select the feature by double clicking on it and then right click and choose detach feature label. And as you can see that moved the label outside of the feature and now I can just drag it to wherever I want it to be displayed. So as you're working on editing your own map, if there's something that you want to change and you're not sure how to do it, a good place to always start is to select the item that you want to change and then right click on it or control click on Mac and you'll be able to see all of the editing options available for that item.